Welcome to episode two of Randy's Office, and Office 2019 has officially been released. On September 24th, it was released to commercial users, and on October 2nd, it was released to the public. So they're calling this the on-premises version of Office. It's also referred to as the perpetual version or the one-time purchase version. Um, and what we know about it is uh, many of the new features from Office 365 have been rolled into 2019, which is what we expected. So in Word, the learning tools are available, um, the speech tools, uh, the dictation and the text-to-speech are available, inking is available, um, Access the enhancements in accessibility and also real time collaboration are all in Word 2019. In Excel, many of the new functions that were available in Office 365 are now available in 2019. Um, if S, Text Join, Concat, uh, Min If S, Max If S, and Switch are, are all good functions that are now available in 2019. Um, enhanced importing, uh, the ability to publish to Power BI is available in Excel 2019, as well as just is some big enhancements in Power Pivot and Power Query, which are two, two wonderful features in Excel. Um, in PowerPoint, the Morph uh, transition, which is a really cool feature, is now available in 2019, as well as the ability to um, insert icons, SVG and 3D images, and then also the Zoom feature to uh, allow you to reorder slides. And uh, in Access, pretty much the same. It hasn't changed a whole lot. The only, the, the biggest change is some enhancements in importing the, and the types of data you're able to import into Access. Um, what we know is not in 2019 are, um, is real-time collaboration between all of the applications, uh, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Um, the researcher is not available in in Word. Um, designer is not available in PowerPoint. The idea, ideas and data types are not available in Excel. And uh, there's also an Office 2019 for Mac. And many of these features in the Windows version of Office 2019 are also available in the, uh, in the Mac version of 2019. So with 365, uh, you'll, continue, you'll continue to get the feature updates. And many of these feature updates deal with intelligence, uh, collaboration, creative ideas, um, cloud connected features. And so th that will continually um, be enhanced and get updates for that for 365. And your students uh, will can also get 365 free. So any school that has a Microsoft agreement, which is about every school there is, has, has some type of Microsoft agreement, um, your students are able to get Office 365 free in uh, through Office in Education, and they'll sign up with their student email accounts and create a Microsoft account. And then at that point, they'll be able to uh, download and install the desktop applications of Microsoft Office 365. And that could be either be Windows or Mac version. And um, so anyway, um, many great things out there with the, with the rollout of 2019 and the continual enhancements in Office 365. Uh, in the next episode of uh, Randy's Office, we're going to look at Office 365, the different products, um, versions, and builds that are available. Because even under the umbrella of Office 365, there are lots of uh, there's a lot of variability between the products. So I'll kind of talk you through that and explain what that looks like and, and how that may affect you in your teaching and what students are using on their personal computers or lab computers. And then in the fourth episode, we'll, uh, I'll actually go through and show you a few features, um, highlight some of, the, some of the cool new features in Office 2019 that are also in Office 365. So until that time, have a great week and we'll see you in Randy's office soon.